Welcome back to the Trial and Error Show. My name is Caleb, and today we are going to be talking about this little guy right here. This right here, this is actually an Omnipod. It's an insulin delivery device. Now, my wife is a type 1 diabetic, so she needs to receive insulin on a consistent basis. How does it do it, you might ask? Well, here's a 25 second breakdown. This is just a matter if I can break it down in 25 seconds. I'm not even sure. We're gonna put a timer right, right here. It's gonna be a timer. And here we go. Three, two, one. An Omnipod is a configured... <laughs> Stop the timer. Here we go again. An Omnipod... <laughs> one more time. An Omnipod is configured goodness, this is such a tongue twister. An Omnipod is configured in a small pod designed to fit on any area where you would put an injection. The pod is filled with insulin and fills up to a compressed tube. The pod wirelessly connects to a PDM and prepares for priming. When placed, a needle in the tube is primed at 1 200th of a second using a piston mechanism system. Whew. The needle retracts and leaves the tube in the delivery... <laughs> when the PDM prompts the pod, a tiny switch moving against two gears delivers 0.05 units of insulin every cycle. When the pod dies, it emits a loud, high-pitched beep until deactivated. Not sure if that was exactly 25 seconds. There were some edits in there because, oh my word, that's hard to read. Now, typically a pod lasts about three days plus eight hours, which is definitely, you know, a lot better than trying to do five or six injections every single day. So this really is very interesting technology, especially uh, for diabetics, because I mean, it's pretty small. It's not that large, but we're gonna go ahead and take apart one of these bad boys, look for all these parts that I just mentioned. So we're gonna cut to that right now. All right, so here's the pod, and I'm going to say right off the bat, this is one that's already expired. So it's already dead, it's already been used, so we're not wasting one. We're just simply taking apart one that has already died. You gotta get the adhesive. That's the tube that gets inserted into the body. So the needle goes through and leaves that behind. This is obviously like the motherboard, it tells everything what to do, let's start breaking it apart. Proving to be a little bit difficult. So we're gonna introduce this. So as you can tell, clearly I've done this before. But we're starting to see, so like if you look right here, this is actually how the needle inserts, pushes it up. This small motor gets instructions from the motherboard, from the wireless signal, to rotate this. So it rotates it one tiny click at a time. You can hear it, but it pushes that back and forth. As you can see, what we're looking at here is mostly just the mechanism piece. My guess is this part right here is actually the remote, the wireless unit. So that collects the data, sends it down through here, which makes sense because you got uh, these ports here. So it probably sends it out through that to the other parts of the pod. But this is the needle. So there you go, there's the needle. Comes out, shoots down, makes the hole, comes back out. This is in every single one of those pods and it's all controlled wirelessly. So this is where the insulin goes in, fills up, fills this tube, and then the motor releases it. It's pretty crazy what they actually fit in this device. I mean, it's all connected wirelessly and done from a remote. So that's pretty insane. I'm definitely interested to see where that technology goes in the future, but that is all we have time for today. If you're enjoying trial and error, go ahead and subscribe to see more videos. And there is plenty of more content on Instagram and Facebook, so I highly recommend you check that out as well because it's all good stuff. You should be getting it because it's free. It's free.